thought you were going. Oh, a hardcore match. Let's take it to the ring. Ron Zombie from the House of a Thousand Corpses. That's Ron, R-O-N, as in Ronald. Let's watch our copyrights here at Powerhouse Wrestling. Mayhem and May. Oh, my. This is going to get ugly in a hurry. That's a barbed wire bat, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to get ugly in a hurry. Ron Zombie. Abel Graves, quite the competitor in his own right. He's you know, now, this match wasn't matches. even scheduled. What is he doing here? Giving these fans a bonus? They don't Abel deserve Graves, it. Abel Graves and Ron Zombie were on the marquee. They were on the flyer. Wait a minute. And, I didn't and, see it. I didn't read the flyer that way. Yeah, well, maybe if you had, you would have had it canceled. So it's a good thing for all the powerhouse wrestling fans, Johnny. Now, I know a lot of wrestling purists might call this kind of match garbage just because it's a hardcore match, but these guys are out here to entertain the fans just as much as any of the other superstars who are here tonight. Abel Graves and Ron Zombie. They're both going after it tonight. Why don't you cut your hair like his? We'll call you Doc Grace. Oh, you're already thinking of my new gimmick now. I'm not good enough over here. We're going to put you in the ring. Yeah. Maybe with you. I'm not a worker, nor do I claim to be, but I'd fight you. Anytime, anywhere, any place. I have a 10 degree, 10 degree, 10 degree, 45th degree. And we're looking to get underway. Whoa. Abel Graves mouthing off to the fans now. I'll tell you, he's smart. What do we got? That's unwise. I'll tell you, because the fans have gotten behind Graves in the past, but he just doesn't care. You look at him, and you see the eyes of a crazy man who does not care. He obviously doesn't care because he's out there. With there you go. Abel Graves, smart. Oh, look at that. Trying to withstand the onslaught of a barbed wire covered bat you got it that's why it's called a kick to the gut. there he goes with that stick that's why it's called it's a hardcore match that's gotta hurt ron zombie so bad i wish i'd hit that referee yeah which you probably would if you were dancing with joint the clown what a Maybe they'll have Dork the Clown next, or maybe Dork the Referee. Put on some makeup. What did you just say to me? Put on some makeup, and maybe uh, that's what here they we call go. You. See, you're from Massachusetts. You're one of them. Uh, yeah, I'm one of them. There's nobody good ever comes from Ooh. Massachusetts, right? You're right, absolutely. Rob Zombie comes from Massachusetts. No, New York, New York, New York. Ron Zombie, New York. No, 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 Rob Zombie. The inspiration, the musician. I don't know who he is. I'll call him the inspiration. Would I call him a ripoff? No. Oh. No. I like that move. Did you see that move? That was very good. This is what, a hardcore. What else is Abel Graves going to do? Anything goes in a hardcore match. Even the ring announcer, even the, the referee, even you, Doc, could be in the middle of that ring. Yeah, I, I, I could impact this match. I could. Oh, he's saying, got his well, head right at that Bob Wire. Oh. oh, my goodness. You see the back of his head. If he wasn't able to kick out, who's to say how long his head would have been on the back? You know what? Of Don't mouth off. Wire. Do your job. Make sure you do yours. Help me oh, the there what you go. You Bob that? Wire to the back. What would you call that scientific move? Another one to the back. This isn't about science. This is about hardcore. 
You know, the way you cheat and steal when I never you're cheat. out there I don't as a cheat manager, and steal. I don't cheat. I, I don't think steal. That this would be one of your favorite types of matches. Let me ask you a question. Did you see me cheat or steal during the Kid USA match? No, no I didn't. No, because it was over in a minute. You didn't have time. Oh, come on. When do you see they me out there against Scott. the Islanders? Yeah, well, we'll see. Oh, nice takedown. You said nothing scientific was going to happen, but that takedown I see nothing scientific good. here. Leg lock, chin lock type maneuver here. Not your standard fair in an Abel Graves match, I'll give you that. But it certainly seems to be working right now. Here we go. Oh, come on. Come on. Break it off. Hit him in the head with it. And a strike to the leg. A what? It's a strike to the leg. And he goes, keep, he keeps on working that leg. Well, you know what? A you got to remember song. something. The great Arn Anderson said, zero in, pick a body pot, and that's how you win the match. Now, you would know it that. It works. And if you see that move, some sort of what? variation on the diamond cutter, the, RKO, I don't know what Ron Zombie calls it. Now you're watching the... Diamond Dallas Page movie, is that what you're watching? I'd like to see DDP stack up with you. Oh, right to the gut with that barbed wire bat. All that work that Graves did on that left leg, though. Oh, here we go again. As dastardly as that, oh. Oh, right to the throat. That's crossing some sort of line right now. A barbed wire bat. Remnants of throat. ECW, Sabu. The cane brings back the Sandman. Here we go. We're ready to rock and roll. Oh, kick to the gut. I find it hard to believe that these men aren't injured yet. I don't know what you call that move, but... Ron Zombie's got to be happy that went off. That did some damage there. Well, let's see. He's not out yet. He's got a zero he's in not the out yet. very, very soon because he's got Abel Graves dazed, confused, and right there he turned him inside out with that clothesline maneuver. Well, you recognize that move. On Zombie picking Graves up. Holding him there for a minute. Oh! Now there's, what do you call it? Come Forward. On. Forward face buster. Oh, is that right? I guess. What do you call it? Face first suplex? You're like the rest of these people. I don't know. It was a suplex. Very good. Here we go. Oh, look at this. I don't think he's got much steam left. He's trying to make some sort of comeback here, but I don't know if anybody can withstand that kind of onslaught and still come back. Well, I'll tell you, being hit three or four times with that barbed wire bat, I think, what would happen there? Did we have a back kick? <laughs> you know, if that's true, that'll scramble your eggs and you can sing soprano in the choir. Certainly. Oh, we're going to grab us a chair. Uh, Graves seemed to have certainly a second wind if he's ready to bring a chair. There we go. The because that could backfire as easily as it could work to his advantage. Zombie's trying to recover. Abel Grace is going to capitalize. Here we go. It's over and done with. It's Graves, pal. As if you were out there, they'd be digging yours all right. Uh oh. Oh, it backfired. And there it is. <laughs> and a DDT up. Game over. Front face. face. There, if this doesn't end it, I'll be surprised. A One, face buster. A face buster. Ron Zombie picks up the victory in this hardcore match. Both guys are spent. I don't think it's over yet. Johnny Fabulous, though, these guys are spent, though. Look at all. Look, they left it all in the ring. Oh, what's happening here? Zombie picking up Graves by the head. He's still on Dream Street. What are you doing? He lifts his own in victory. Oh, and sets him 
Out of here. That's it. It's over. Did you feel that, Doc? My goodness, I almost felt it up here in the blockhouse position. I do not want to trade places places with one able Graves right now, I'll tell you that. I won't be surprised if he's concussed. I won't be surprised if he needs ice for weeks.